is the third leading cause of death for women. I have Heidi Hafen here. She's a registered nurse from Intermountain Medical Center. Now, the key to helping with in a stroke situation is early, recognizing the symptoms early. Right. And yes, getting them help quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have the be fast. Spell out be fast. Yes. So be fast. Um, B is for balance, which is a sudden loss of balance or you have dizziness or loss of coordination. E is for eyes, so a sudden change in vision. Hmm. So you can have double vision, blurry vision, or even a loss of vision. Okay. And F is for face, so you have that classic drooping face, one side of the face. Right. And A is for arm. You'll have a sudden weakness of arm or leg, one? actually, one side. Okay. Mm -hmm. And S is for speech, so you'll have sudden changes in speech. You can have slurred speech or the inability to get the correct words out or the inability to understand somebody else's speech. And T is for time. So you want to note the time the symptom started. And time is really of the essence. Um, you want to get to the hospital as quickly as possible. And they say to, to call 911 instead of driving yourself because right. that gets them help quicker. Yes, it, it's much quicker. If you call 911, the ambulance can get you there really fast. I know my dad was visiting and he was having trouble holding his fork. Mm -hmm. And it ended up being a really early symptom. And, right. we, and he got the help quickly and he'll be 94 this summer. Yeah, that's hey, exactly. We yeah. noticed the symptoms very early. Yep, that's great. And don't panic, because it, but it can get worse. It can lead to loss of consciousness, difficulty breathing, and th that's when things start getting worse, right? Right, right. You want to get there as quickly as possible so you can get the appropriate treatments. And to keep it from doing damage. Right, exactly. Okay, damage that can be debilitating.